Hey guys, it's Muta King, and I'm here with Porky's, who got the 190 score in the credit shooting in Melee, which was thought to be impossible. And other people we have, I've seen that I respect a lot, who are like speedrunners, really, really good people at like video games, they were saying it's impossible. I thought this was impossible too. Even on stream, I was like, yeah, this is probably not possible. I, don't, I can't imagine this being possible. But here we have it. It's actually done. And I'm actually here with Porky's, and then we're gonna watch this together. And he's basically gonna like explain how he actually did it. Yeah, so uh, I saw the bounty was first posted on my uh, local Smash Facebook page. It was posted by one of our uh, leaders of the community, and it was the $3,000 bounty on the melee credits. I was interested, so I watched the video. The best score I ever achieved was 185 hits. And keep in mind, this is at 50% speed. If I couldn't complete this at half the speed, how on earth could it be done at full speed? And he went into depth about how impossible it was and uh, how he had to slow it down to even get near the 190. So I was like, wow, this still looks really hard, but I kind of wanted to try it. I don't know why. And then I had seen someone posted a comment that they got 140, and that was kind of like the the first goal I wanted to beat, was to be the, the best in the community. You know, Iowa wanted to be the number one, even if it wasn't the 190. So eventually I did beat the, the 140, whatever they got. And then I just kept going from there and... Uh, just kept practicing, kept, uh, started using the uh, emulator and really getting deep into it. I started uh, save stating certain segments to learn the pattern and then figure out a strategy that was semi-consistent because I knew I was not going to get this 100% time. I, I figured mashing isn't going to work. Like I had watched like the other previous world record and the guy's mashing. I'm like, sure, you might hit a majority, but you're not going to be able to control it. So I guess that's where I first started was to try to figure out a pattern. And uh, that's what I did. I just... Uh, Kept grinding on emulator, and once I felt comfortable jumping on the console, I did that, and uh, that's where the real grinding began. Because once you miss one, you have to just have to reset the console and just wait through the the whole sequence, you know. And I just kept going, and eventually I started getting closer. I got 181, and then eventually I tied the unofficial official world record, 182. 182. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, I I surpassed it with 183, and then I posted on uh, the the Twitter form or the Twitter page on Nathaniel. And I'm like, hey, uh, you know, if if no one can ever do this, I at least have in 183. And then I'm like, well, I might as well keep going, see how high I can go. And eventually I was able to hit 187. And once I did that, I'm like, this might be possible, you know? I might be able to do it. But there was one part that was really catching me up. It was the voice actors. The second part that was really hard was when the voice actor names came in. It starts in a straight line, but then the names quickly disperge to the sides. Then another straight line comes in, and those names disperge in every direction imaginable. If I can at least get this 1% of the time, every time I try to attempt it, I think I might have a shot at this. So that was the biggest part that took the most time, and that was where the most resets happened. All right, let's start the video. But before I do, I want to ask, uh, so what was your skill set like your what was what was your what were you averaging naturally before practicing? Were you like 130, 140? Like what was your natural just starting point? Oh, okay, yeah, without any sort of like preparation, just like yeah, just the same as credits. everybody yep. else with no prep. Yeah, or, or playing was, the game uh, casually for ten years, whatever. <laughs> same, same ca thing. casually when I was playing as a kid, I could barely even get a hundred. I would just most of the time fast forward through it because I figured it wasn't something that was even worth trying because it just moved so fast i couldn't match quick enough and i didn't really have like i wasn't very good at melee at the time i didn't even like know any of the advanced techniques so i was just a complete casual so every time i got to it just push start but yeah. then uh once we saw the challenge and then i just started just messing around with it not taking it serious i was hitting like 130 135 just by mashing and trying to aim as best as i could but then uh you know, like I said, there's the other person in the page who posted a 140, and I kind of wanted to beat that, so I took it a bit serious, and then just snowballed from there. Yeah, personally, I think, like, around 140-ish is, like, the highest I've ever gotten on, like, my playthroughs, and that's, like, really rare outliers. Probably, like, what, like 130-ish is, like, my nor my normal highs. <laughs> so I was thinking, yeah. like, 190, like, like, I can't even, I couldn't even imagine going, through, going, going to that level. But, I mean, if you, that's the thing, like, you just lab, especially lab the hard parts, and then that, that's like, it's all or nothing. So you just, you just lab the hard parts. And even if, as I said, if you, even if you get 1% of the time, you know, it's only a one minute thing. So you just reset and then try again. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, you just got to get that one hard thing one time and then cross your fingers, you nail everything else that's relatively easier. Yeah, all in one run, all in one take. Yep. All right, so let's start the video. 
Yeah, so like this is how every run begins, just mashing. Um, pretty easy, nothing uh, too hard. Probably the first hardest part's right here. Um, luckily, I got it. And then this part's kind of hard too, because there's like four different. But I'll go into that a little bit later. Another easy part here. Kind of tricky here with the three going up. Um, this is probably the hardest part right here. And uh, we'll get into more of that later. But voices, you can just see, they sprawl everywhere. And it's just so hard to get them all. And then once, that's the reset point. That's the point that if you mess it up 99% of the time, you just reset and try again. And, and then everything else from there, you should hit. Because it's not that hard, but it still takes focus and... Uh, practice to get it all this is like crazy insanity particularly the parts where they're spread apart at like a super high speed yeah yeah so it's like, like watching um, a task dude <laughs> it's like watching video. a task dude i'm not even joking yeah he, he was playing at 50 percent, and uh i i did the same thing like on the really hard parts i would uh start slow i start at like 70 percent speed because I feel like at 50, strategies that you use don't really implement into 100 because it's just too fast. So I figured going into 70 would be a good way to practice. So wait, you um, what did you, you practice on, 50? I practice at 70 because I feel like with 50, you can do strategies that aren't possible at 100. So I try to bump up the speed more so I can realistically do this at just a little faster instead of 50%. Does it change like the frame speed because you know 50 goes even into 100 like it's it's a nice number it's like 2 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratios and stuff you know but uh would 70 be like an awkward number that doesn't work as well into it or what It is a bit awkward like it's a little weird but it's like not too slow cuz uh when you get into 50% you start doing things that you couldn't do at 100% and when you try to do it at 100% you're like well this is impossible you can't do it at 100% speed something at 70% speed it's fast enough to where you need a strategy that'll work but it's slow enough so where you can practice it yeah so it's basically comes down to like oh well you can do this but it's so hard it's not worth yeah exactly yeah and then uh if you see my video there <laughs> i had a little bit of a exci exciting moment there just and remember, then i figured yeah you tried of, again uh, just to show hey you know it's not a fluke mm, yeah like I didn't want to be like one of those uh, those videos that they miraculously do like the impossible and then you don't get to see them try it again because when they do it once, you kind of want to see them do it again just to prove that like yeah, to they're prove capable it's like, of doing it. Let's prove it's like, hey, I'm still, re I'm still really good even without this. Because mm -hmm. it like think about it, like the odds of getting like like and if your next one was like 130, people would just be like, uh. But 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 since it was like I think you got a 181 here, which is like yeah. already a, that's like a top 10 score in terms of like maybe not your top 10 attempts, but like top 10 if you're including like other people's highest. Yeah, yeah. I was figuring like if I if I could do just a second run right afterwards and it's you know relatively close to the 190, then people will know that it wasn't faked because I was obviously capable of doing the 190 and. You could see there that like my strategies are the same. If you were to yeah. like put it back to back, you would see my cursor would go in like the same spot majority of the time. Unless yeah. I like missed it. But yeah, that's what the idea was with the second attempt. Even though it wasn't perfect, that was kind of like the point. It was just to show that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. And 181 here, that's actually like the highest base like from a week ago apparently was like a 182. So that's that's already almost as good as it, as it was like a, like two weeks ago in the past. So uh -huh. now I'm gonna sh I want to do this over, but I want to see it on one fourth. Or do you think it'd be more interesting on fifty percent speed as you practiced, or twenty five percent speed? Um, I can I can I, actually do twenty five percent, fifty percent, or seventy five percent, which is similar to what you practiced. I'd say uh, do fifty percent until like uh, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when to slow it down because then the, there'll be more intricate parts. But fifty percent will work for a majority of it because it's not that like there's not that many details. Okay. Yeah, so we could do 50 here, and then you can uh, go ahead and play. First part's really easy. You just mash. Um, and then if any get any get past you, just adjust your cursor to hit it. Like, you see that one on the left? It started getting by me. And then this part, just hold up, and then you move to your right, and they all run into the cursor. Really easy. Yeah. That one floating over there, hit it, and just hold right. Keep holding right, and then one will run into you. That one, uh, that one's just aiming. Kind of hard. And then if you hold a little bit up here, you'll hit it. And then if you want to slow down this part, it's kind of hard. You want me to slow this down? Yeah, a little, little okay. bit. Okay, I'll go to twenty five percent on this part. So this part, 
you just don't want to move the stick at all. Just keep mashing. But you got to make sure you hit one in the background without actually aiming at it. You can see I hit it there. And then you do a little half circle. And you can actually see I missed the one on the right. So I had to go and hit it right there. <laughs> Dude, this... Sorry, the sound of <laughs> the music's making it really funny. <laughs> and this part's pretty <laughs> easy. So you just uh, go neutral, up, up neutral, down. up. Oh, yeah, yep, neutral. And then you just yep, aim right here. And then put your stick back in neutral to hit the center. And then you go up or down, whichever one. And then this part's pretty easy. Don't move the stick. Just time the A, but the aim, the a button right there. Okay, I want to pause and ask that real quick. So you said yeah. the stick in neutral. So what happens normally if you go like down to the uh, down left, for example, is one of your strategies to release the stick to neutral as, as an aiming technique? Just so that yeah, like yeah. you get so, you get, uh, so like sometimes instead sometimes you go down left and then just move a bit, but other times you might go down left and then go to neutral and then a direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I do is uh, if I know that the the names that are behind the one I'm hitting would get hit if I didn't touch the stick at all, I put it back in neutral, and then um, I figure out where from there do I need to move the stick. I don't like moving from let's say like the the lower left corner to the upper right yeah. because that's like it's taking some of the the accuracy out you want to just like put your stick back in neutral and then give it a bit of a tilt yeah because that, that'll make the margin error much 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 more consistent so mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the big differences in this in a, a game like halo or normal fps where it, the stick where your aim is usually where it just stays at but yep. then when you release the stick you're still aiming that way in halo but when you release the stick in this game you just it just brings you back to center so that's like one of the mm -hmm. major differences yeah it takes a lot of getting used to and then uh, once you've done hitting all the neutrals, this part's just aiming. It's uh, not too hard, except for that one in the, uh, the up, right right there, yeah. And then now if you want to pause here, this is probably the hardest part. It's uh, the voices. So the strategy I use here is I want to hit two of the voices in the back. And Wait, then... what's the voice is these? Yeah, the ones Every, that say from like From here and here onwards? Yeah, the, it's like the voice actors. They They scatter everywhere. They come in big piles, so it's like... Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got to You got to hit it, like with one, like one shot most of the time. But anyways, so you want to hit the two voices, aim to the right, hit that one, and then you do a little swirl, and then go neutral to hit Pikachu, and then you go and hit <laughs> Puff. Go neutral to hit <laughs> Pikachu, and then you hit Jubilee Puff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I started just memorizing like the, the names of the. Of the that's characters. really, that's really anyways, funny. So once you get past that, this part is smooth sailing. It's just don't drop the ball at this point. And you can see I'm actually preemptively waiting for a name to go there. Yeah. This part's yep. like, the, this part's basically just just do the easy not choke. <laughs> yep, by by, by com comparatively. Yup. It's just like, you you made it 90% of the way. Don't drop the ball. Just yeah. keep on going. And then this part, uh, pretty it's pretty cool. I actually aim for these. I don't just wait for them to come to me. Oh, and then but you it, also memorize like an order. So like... What I noticed yep. is like like the instinct right here, for example. Um, so I want to go back in a second. So like normally the instinct is like, oh, get hissed because it's, it's up here. But this one's not going to disappear for a while. So you... Oh, wait. Probably, I probably said that, ba I probably said that backwards. But you, you might not always hit them in order they're appearing based on like if you have a bigger window. Mm -hmm. Or do you always hit them on, from the front? It, um, most of the time, you want to hit it from the front to get it out of the way, but um, sometimes you want to hit it if it's an easy shot. Like uh, like right before voices, I actually hit you know I hit the two voices first, and then I go to the right. But uh, you timing most of the this time press? You, hit the early ones. you timing these? Or you uh, I usually I, I matched on that part because okay, I was getting yeah. nervous. Usually you can time it like this part. I'm timing. Yeah. So um, this is uh the tunnel. It's a. Uh, it's easy, but it's easy to also just over overshoot yourself and then uh, just let it pass you by because you're so confident you're going to hit it. I think right there, example, I almost missed it because I just thought I was going to get it, but it passed me by. Um, and then once you get to the end of the tunnel, this is another hard part. The The names come by pretty fast and they don't have like a, they don't last on the screen for a while. They, they come and they go. So what I do here is I go up and there, go down. And then I just move up and down and just mash and hope I hit all five names. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you up, down, mash, get it half the time, that's not too bad, especially if you're nervous. That's a good backup strat. Mm -hmm. And then this is the final stretch. Uh, this is the last kind of hard part. You want to 
aim your cursor on that that one sign and you'll actually hit the the name in front of that runs in front of it like right there and then from here it's just like really easy no they they, they don't move very fast they come one at a time and, yeah i remember uh, this being the more consistent part of, of, yeah, of like, one of the of getting all of them <laughs> near the very yep. very end you everything just, else is just, crazy though yep you just hold up little bit tilt your control stick a little bit up and they'll just run into it you just kind of mash and slightly adjust as they go yes this part's kind of kind of cool you go up down up down uh, it's an, there's a pattern to it as you can see do you have like a stiff stick or like a loose stick it's a normal um, game I, control right what type of game yeah normal game control. i Does think it? it's the smash ultimate one smash ultimate with the with the smash for the the logo yeah not the fiery one just the regular logo Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, one thing to know is just I use a claw grip. I guess that kind of helps me out a lot because when I try to do it with my thumb, because like my finger would start to hurt, I couldn't I couldn't get the angles. Like I couldn't hold them very long or uh, hit them as consistently just because I didn't have as much control. Claw grip really helped. Um, I know that uh, some other players they do it and like they complain of hand pain, but I never had hand pain with it. But with this, it was actually coming out just because of how much I was straining. Yeah. Yeah, Usually hand then, pain happens after a certain number of hours, like thousands of hours. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but if uh, you said this only took you fifty hours from the start moment you start practice practicing. Um, no, fifty hours of attempts. Uh, I was practicing and I wasn't like really recording at all. I was just you know learning. And then once I figured like, hey, uh, I I think I'm I think I'm good enough to like get a pretty good score. Then I started attempting and recording, and it was like fifty hours of of time. So the whole thing from from the very first time you got like a 130 score until the moment you got the 190, how many hours do you think you did this? Uh, maybe it, it was under 100, definitely. Maybe like it, 80. 90. Okay, dang. That, honestly, that's like like I, I'm pretty. I, I thought this would have taken like hundreds of hours, but you did it in un, between 50 to 100 hours, probably. Yeah, yeah, definitely within that time frame. I thought it would take longer too, but. I guess um, the game kind of suits me in a way. In a way, like I said, with my claw grip, it kind of helps with the the joystick part, and that's where most people have trouble is uh, controlling the analog stick. But one thing that did pop up uh, with this challenge was since the control stick is so small and it's not like a fight stick, your finger actually gets kind of like smushed with underneath the analog stick and the control case. So that like uh, kind of annoying because whenever I had to go left, my index finger would get smushed underneath the stick, so I had to lift it up. Otherwise, I couldn't go full left. So, do you play other FPSs, or...? No, I don't play any other ones. So, you've uh, never practiced I, doing anything similar to this in, in your life? Uh, not first-person shooters, but there's those, uh, you know, those Japanese, like, bullet hell games, you know, where they just have so many spheres, and you have to, like, slowly maneuver them and, like, shoot a thousand bullets at the boss. That was, I played those Toho? games before. So. Yeah, Wait, something that, like it's that. It's not avoiding, though. Yeah, it's, it's avoiding, but like that still requires like really fine movement. Otherwise, you you die, you know. Yeah, I never actually played yeah. them, but I've but I've seen I've seen YouTube videos and I've seen other people play them. Mm -hmm. that makes yeah, you kind of want to try them. Yeah, it's, they're really fun. It's it's, but, uh, it's hella memorizing though. I feel like it's more memori I feel like it's more memorizing than it is reacting at, like on the hardest ones. Oh yeah, it's just uh, memorize the patterns and where the holes are, so you yeah. can squeeze your way through it. And that's basically what this was: is memorize the patterns and then execute. All right. So, yeah. there, so there we have it. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Porky's, for joining. Uh, mm, thanks for having me. Yeah, guys, don't forget to give him a follow. He's going to be linked in the YouTube description below. And with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't think I'd ever be making this video. Like, I, I, the moment I saw that it, this was that like, wait, the 190 happened. Like, my first instinct was he cheated. Then I watched the video and I was like, no, it, it wasn't a cheat. I'm, I'm actually really surprised. But that, that, that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to learn about. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, Thank guys. And I'll see you guys next time.